the UFC now has Sean Strickland as their middleweight champion. And people have asked me, is this good or bad for the UFC? And I was like, for the UFC, this is good. Here's why. For us, it's bad. He's not our guy, no. right? He's a piece of shit. He's a self-proclaimed, I'm a former neo-Nazi. I don't think he's anyone's guy. Mm. No, it's, there, it's not like he's Colby. No, 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 no. No. I mean, he's very shitty to no, women. No, there were plenty of people that were rooting for this guy to be Israel Asanya. Plenty. It's not an, they, the reason why I say it's not bad for the UFC is because they were like, well, he's a PR nightmare, but he falls right into their fan base. Right? Like, look, he says probably. His winning picture was trending and also a video interview from like two weeks before when he was telling women to stay in the kitchen. Yes. And they're only good for sex. Yeah, do you know Both how many trending on the same night? Do you know how many men agree with that? I don't know any of these men, but uh, maybe. I I promise you, look at the comments. Maybe. They agree with this nonsense. It's trash, right? But it's not because people like people ask me this because they said, "Is it going to be a PR nightmare for the UFC?" I'm like, no, because a lot of these alpha males and their ideology they align themselves with Sean Strickland. It's not like if he was an NBA champion, oh, that'd be a problem. Yeah. If he was a starting quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs, that'd be a problem, right? This is, this is UFC, where they promote Masvidal, Covington, Sean Strickland, Sean O'Malley. They're all just cut from the same cloth. 